Want to know a secret? You don't need Spotify Premium to listen offline. That's right, your favorite playlist can go wherever you go, no internet required. How, you ask? Well, stick around in this video as I show you how to download your Spotify tracks for offline listening with two tested, proven, and trusted apps. Warning, using these apps goes against Spotify's terms of service and there's a small risk of account suspension. Use these methods responsibly and at your own discretion. But here's a pro tip. When using any of these apps, always choose the 1x conversion speed to avoid detection. Now let's get into our first app, NoteBurner. NoteBurner is a versatile audio conversion service that works with various streaming platforms, including Spotify. It has a free version that allows up to three minutes per track, but if that's not enough, the paid version starts at $14.95 per month. But you can always just subscribe once, download everything you want and unsubscribe, but still keep your songs. Life hack. The advantage here is it supports multiple file formats, MP3, AAC, WAV, AIFF, FLAC, and ALAC, and it preserves ID3 tags for easy file management. Let's walk through how to use NoteBurner. Download and install NoteBurner from their official website. Launch the app and you'll see the Add Music page. Under the Convert Settings, here you can choose your preferred output format and quality, up to 160 kilobits per second for Spotify free. Click the Open the Web Player window icon. Select the playlist you want to download, then tap on Click to Add button. Select the songs you want to download on the playlist, then click Add. Hit Convert. Once done, find your tracks in the Converted tab or in your chosen file location. And that's it. Or you can try Audbyte. Oddbyte works the same as NoteBurner, although it's a bit pricier at $17.95, but a lot of people say this is one of the safest bets. To use Oddbyte, download and install Oddbyte from their official website. Open the app. You'll see a large drag and drop area and a search bar at the top. In Spotify, find the tracks, albums, or playlists you want to download. Drag and drop the items from Spotify into Oddbyte or copy the Spotify link and paste it into Oddbyte's search bar. Click the menu bar and select Preferences, then go to the Convert tab. Choose your preferred output format and quality settings. Click Convert to start the process. Once complete, find your tracks in your computer's local files or click the Converted icon in Oddbyte to locate them. There you have it, two powerful apps to liberate your Spotify library from internet dependency. Which app are you most excited to try? Drop a comment below and share your experience. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. For more info, check out the whole guide in the link in the description.